How are you today? I am Teacher Irene, ready to guide you in doing your activity in health. Today, we will discuss some practices that are considered being about non-communicable diseases. So, you are expected to record and describe your health practices. Do you know that you have the biggest part in this module? With your cooperation and participation, this task will be carried smoothly. So be ready with your paper, ball pen, pencil, and your self-learning module. This module will help you understand the different myths and fallacies about non-communicable diseases and how to be equipped with the right knowledge and correct practices to become healthy. As we all know, health has been an integral factor in every human being. Our health decides our ability to become productive in everything that we do. Thus, health has to be developed, monitored, and maximized in its fullest capability. Let's see how much do you know about the topic. Let's have what I know. You will only be given 3 seconds to give your answer. Are you ready? Let's start. Read each statement carefully. Place a check on the line if you think a statement is a fact. Place an X on the line if you think the statement is a myth. Number 1. Allergies can persist even after childhood. Number 2. Both young and old people can get arthritis. Number 3. Eating heavy meal right before sleeping is theorized to cause bang wound. Gecko or lizard make your asthma. Number five, taking a bath on Friday will not make you sick. Let's check your answer to know your score. Number one, check. Number two, check. Number three, Check. Number 4, X. Number 5, X. Now, let's proceed to our lesson. But before that, let's do the recap. Let's see if you still remember our previous lesson by answering the multiple choice. Read the statements carefully and choose the letter of the best answer. Number 1. Which is a non-communicable disease? A. Cancer B. Influenza C. Dengue fever D. Tuberculosis Number 2. Your friend is asthmatic. What do you think he, she think should do to prevent an attack? A. Exercise B. Manage stress C. Eat a balanced diet D. All of the above Number 3. This treatment of cancer involves attacking the cancer cells with X-ray. A. Surgery B. Chemotherapy C. Drug therapy D. Radiation therapy Number 4. Which is not a causative factor for non-communicable disease? 
A. Virus B. Poor diet C. Stress D. Environmental hazard Number 5. You notice that your grandmother is experiencing sudden weight loss, excessive thirst, and lack of energy. What type of disease do you think is evident? A. Arthritis B. Hypertension C. Diabetes D. Renal failure Let's check your answers now. 1. A 2. D 3. D 4. A 5. C Welcome to our new lesson. After recalling your lesson on non-communicable diseases, you are now ready to start with your topic. Maintain an open mind be ready to learn, so let's start with the first activity. Let's proceed to what's new. Have you ever heard your mother saying not to take a bath on Friday night because you will get sick? And you never ask her why, since our culture taught us to respect and listen to our elders. But have you ever asked yourself, is it true that I'll get sick? Let's read and analyze the situation and answer the processing questions. The mother asked her daughter not to sleep while her hair still wet, else it will blind her. The daughter immediately followed what her mother asked. Why did the mother ask her daughter to dry her hair before she go to sleep? Do you believe that sleeping with wet hair causes blindness? Remember the saying, health is wealth, a famous saying that refers to the importance of health to us. Our health is the key to our happiness, but sad to say, there are practices in the world that contradict the proper way of being healthy. What is a myth? According to Miriam Dictionary, Myth is a popular belief or tradition that has grown up around something or someone, meaning it's only a form of practice established through the span of time without any form of scientific study. In short, it is a false perception. What is a fallacy? Fallacy is an often conceivable argument using false or invalid inference. Both concepts have the same definition of a false and mistaken idea. Let's move now to what's more. Here's an activity for you. 
The purpose of th this task is finding out the different myths and fallacies about non-communicable diseases in your community. Activity number one. Make a survey by interviewing your grandparents, siblings, parents, and friends about the different myths and fallacies about non-communicable diseases that you heard in your community. Activity number two. Choose three myths or fallacies you have written in the last activity and research scientific articles, study, or statements that counter or debunk the myth or fallacies. Complete the statement and by writing something about what you learned from myths and fallacies on non-communicable diseases. Congratulations, you did it well. This time, your creativity will be tested. Illustrate a fact and a myth from your least last activity. Make a simple drawing that will show a myth and fact about the common misconception on non-communicable diseases. You're almost done. Let's find out what you have learned from this activity. Let's move now to assessment. Now let's check how far you understood about the lesson by answering the assessment. Read each statement carefully. Place a check on the line if you think a statement is a fact. Place an X on the line if you think the statement is a myth. Number one, allergies can persist even after Childhood. Number two, cancer is a disease of the rich and affluent people. Number three, lung cancer only affects smokers. Number four, both young and old people can get arthritis. Number five, sleeping with wet hair causes blindness. I would like to express my gratitude to those who in one way contributed in the formulation and development of this audio visual learning material. Likewise to the developer of learning module in Health 7, Module 2 of Quarter 4. Good job!
you were able to do all the activities given to you. Hope you enjoy doing them. Goodbye everyone. God bless.